Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to crochet this beautiful sweater cardigan. This sweater is really nice. I love it so much and I love how it turned out and I love the pocket. I love everything about it. And I have free written pattern for size extra small go up to double XL. It's available on my blog. But if you prefer the PDF, pinnable version is available for purchase on my Etsy and my Ravelry store and I will put all the links in description below and for this tutorial I'll show you in size small and I also wear the size small in the picture there okay and yeah I'm so excited to share with you guys and I hope you enjoy here is the materials that I use for this project for this project, I used buttercream opaca solid. This is Joanne brand, okay? And this is size super bulky yarn, number six. This is 80% acrylic and 20% opaca. And here is the color. And in each ball, it's have 130 yards or 119 meters okay and uh, I use uh, almost eight skins I just have a little bit left this is for size small okay and if you want to substitute yarn just looking for size 6 super bulky yarn and make sure to check the gauge as well okay and crochet hook size 8 millimeters scissors your needle and stitch markers okay before we start I just want to talk about the pattern a little bit for this pattern we're gonna make seven pieces and then sew them together later okay so we have the back panel and then two front panels make exactly the same and then two sleeves make exactly the same and then two pockets make exactly the same this is gonna be the inside pocket okay all right i'm gonna talk about the back panel first so for the back panel we're gonna make the chain the chain that we made gonna be the width of the uh, sweater okay and then the row that we make gonna be the length of the sweater and at the end we cut the yarn, don't need to leave a long tail. And then we're gonna make the front panels. So we're gonna make the chain here and then gonna crochet. And also we're gonna skip some stitches here. It's gonna be uh, the space open for the pocket. So this pocket gonna be inside like that. Okay, hope that makes sense. This is just some idea, but uh, I will go slowly. Okay, and after that we're gonna keep repeating the same pattern keep crochet until we reach the end here and I will tell you exactly how many rows that I made and then at the end I'm gonna leave a long tail enough to sew the front panel here at the shoulder here into the back panel right here and then two panels two front panels made exactly the same leave a long tail exactly the same as you can see here this is gonna be the space open for the pocket okay make two exactly the same and after that we're gonna make the sleeve the sleeve we're gonna make exactly the same so we're gonna make the chain here the chain that we made gonna be the width around your arm okay and then the row that you made gonna be the length of your sleeve if you want longer, you add more rows. If you want shorter, you make less row. Okay, and then at the end, leave a long tails. Enough to sew the sleeve into the back and the front panel here. Like that. Alright, and then after that, we're going to make the pockets. This pocket make exactly the same. We just make a uh, single crochet back and forth. And then I will tell you exactly how many rows that I made and how many stitches that I made. And then at the end, you're going to leave a long tail enough to sew around this pocket. Okay. And then after you have 
seven pieces here we're gonna sew them together so we're gonna put the back panel like this and then put the two front panel like this and now we're gonna turn the wrong side facing up the right side facing down and we're gonna sew on the wrong side we're gonna use the tail that we left earlier from the front panel to sew the shoulder seam here okay after we sew this shoulder seam it'll look like this and then we bring these two sleeve and put them like this right at the middle at the shoulder seam here and then we're gonna use the long tail that we left earlier for the sleeve sew the sleeve into the main panel here all right also sew on the wrong side and then after that we will fold it in half with the right side facing each other like this like this and this time we're gonna cut a new strand of yarn really long so probably six seventy inches long enough to sew the side seam and then the sleeve bottom here okay so yeah after you have a new strand of yarn you're gonna start sew from the bottom here we're gonna sew on the wrong side we're gonna sew all the way up until we reach the armpit and then continue sew the sleeve all the way down till we reach the cuff here both sides sew exactly the same and then after that we're gonna sew the pockets into the front panels where we left it open for the inside uh, for the pocket sorry so this pocket we're gonna sew on the wrong side of the front panel okay and then this gonna cover that hole that we leave it open but gonna be inside of this sweater so like that okay same with this one like this and then we're gonna use the long tail that we left earlier for the pocket so all around the pocket so this the wrong side look like and then the right side is gonna look like this so that hole still open this is gonna be the right side okay I hope that makes sense <laughs> so yeah that's it for the whole sweater and let's talk about the measurement here so for the measurement this is gonna be for size small okay so the width a cloth back from here to here okay not around it is 17.60 inches width and the length from here to here is about 22.52 inches length again this is for size small av sizes is different all right and then we're gonna talk about the stitch pattern okay so this pattern is multiple of two plus one if you don't know what is multiple of two plus one so you're gonna make two chain two chain two chain two chain two chain until you have your desired width and at the end you're gonna add one more chain that is multiple of two plus one all right and then this pattern is one row repeat you just repeat row two over and over okay if you want longer bigger just keep adding more rows just repeating row two that's why this pattern is very easy <laughs> i think it's very easy and very nice as well okay and yeah i think i got everything here and please check in description for more details oh one more thing sorry so um this tutorial gonna be part one part one i gonna show you how to make all the pieces here which is the front panels the back panel the sleeves panels and the pockets all right and then for the part two i gonna show you how to sew all the pieces together and then how to um, crochet around the edges a little bit all right and um for this tutorial i'm gonna show you in size small and yeah let's get started okay i'm gonna start off with a slip knot and then 
I'm gonna make 45 chains. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, keep making the change and I will be back when I have 45 chains. Make sure to make your chain loosely. Okay, now I have 45 chains. And then for row one, gonna be the right side. For an odd number row, gonna be the right side. And for an even number row, gonna be the wrong side. So row one is the right side. I'm gonna make slip stitch into the second chain from the hook here, okay? And I always like to go into the little bump on the back of the chain stitch here. And you also can insert your hook into the normal chain as well, whatever you prefer. All right, yeah. This is the second chain from the hook here. Skip the first chain. Okay, I insert my hook into the little bump on the back of the second chain from the hook there. Insert the hook, pull up a loop, and pull it through. That is slip stitch. And then into the next chain, I'm gonna make half double crochet. So I yarn over my hook, insert the hook into the next chain. Again, I go into the little bump on the back of the next chain here. And then pull up a loop. I have three loops on my hook. And then I yarn over, pull through all the loops on the hook. That is half double crochet. And then we're just gonna repeat that. We're gonna make slip stitch into the next chain, half double crochet into the next, slip stitch into the next, half double crochet into the next. We're just gonna repeat that across. Okay, so next I'm gonna slip stitch. I insert the hook into the next chain here. I go into the little bump on the back of the next chain, pull up a loop, and then pull it through. And then half double crochet into the next chain. I yarn over my hook, insert the hook into the next chain. I go into the little bump on the back of the next chain here, and then pull up a loop. I have three loops on my hook. I yarn over, pull through all the loops on the hook. Like that. Just repeat that slip stitch into the next chain. I go into the little bump on the back, pull up a loop and pull it through. And then half double crochet into the next chain. Like I said, I always gonna go into the little bump on the back of the chain. Okay, next slip stitch into the next chain. And then half double crochet into the next, like that. Slip stitch into the next chain. And then half double crochet into the next chain. Okay. Here's yeah, so what it looks like so far. You're just gonna keep repeating that. Slip stitch into the next chain, half double crochet into the next chain, slip stitch into the next chain, half double crochet into the next chain. Keep repeating that until you reach the end of row one. And I just wanna show you here. The reason I like to insert my hook into the little bump on the back of the chain give me very nice edge at the bottom here and whatever you prefer you can go into the normal chain as well all right and yeah I will be back when I reach the end of row one I'm at the end of row one here and I end with the half double crochet okay every size is gonna end the same with half double crochet because this pattern is multiple of two so the first stitch you slip stitch and then half double crochet slip stitch half double crochet slip stitch half double crochet so at the end uh, of the row you always gonna end up with the half double crochet stitch okay and yeah the end of row one I have a total of 44 stitches I have 22 half double crochet and then 22 slip stitch so a total of 44 stitches okay again this is for size small, every size is, is different. Okay, so for row two, we're gonna chain one and turn. Or you can turn first and chain doesn't matter. And then the chain one never count at a stitch. And then we're gonna make slip stitch into the first stitch here. So insert the hook into the first stitch. Pull up a loop and pull it through. And then half double crochet into the next stitch. Yarn over, insert the hook into next stitch. Pull up a loop, yarn over and put through all the loops on the hook. 
and then slip stitch into next stitch and then half double crochet into the next stitch just repeating that pattern slip stitch and then half double crochet slip stitch half double crochet slip stitch half double crochet repeat that pattern until the end okay so next I'm gonna slip stitch I just gonna show you a couple more times so slip stitch and then half double crochet into the next and then slip stitch into the next and then half double crochet into the next very easy pattern okay and then slip stitch into the next stitch half double crochet into the next stitch like that okay here's what it looks like so far so yeah next you're gonna slip stitch into the next stitch and then half double crochet into the next stitch slip stitch into the next stitch half double crochet into the next stitch just repeating that pattern until the end of row 2 and I will be back okay now I have two stitches left at the end of row 2 I just wanna show you it's the same pattern but I just wanna show you okay so next I gonna make slip stitch okay and then next the last stitch I gonna make half double crochet the last uh, the last stitch is kind of difficult to see be careful okay so yeah I yarn over my hook I insert the hook into the last stitch here sorry it's difficult to insert the hook okay I insert the hook into the last stitch and then pull up a loop and make half double crochet like that okay and at the end of row 2, I have the same 44 stitches. I have 22 half double crochet and then 22 slip stitch. And the end of the row, every row, you always gonna end up with half double crochet. And when you start new row, you always start with slip stitch. Okay? So from now on, for row 3 to row 67, I gonna repeat row 2. It's just one row repeat, right? I said, okay. I'm gonna show you one more row, which is row three. So I chain one and turn. The chain one never count at a stitch, and you can turn first and chain doesn't matter. And repeat row two. Remember row two, we start with slip stitch. Always start with slip stitch. So after chain one and turn, I insert the hook into the first stitch here, pull up a loop, and pull it through. And then half double crochet into the next stitch. And then slip stitch into the next stitch. And then half double crochet into the next stitch. See? We're just repeating row 2 right now. So slip stitch into the next. And then half double crochet into the next. slip stitch into the next and half double crochet into the next like that here's what it looks like so far and yeah keep repeating that next you're gonna slip stitch and then half double crochet into the next slip stitch into the next half double crochet into the next slip stitch into the next half double crochet into the next just repeating that and I will meet you guys back in when I reach the end of row 3 I'm at the end of row 3 I already make the last stitch here here's what it looks like and the end of row 3 I have the same 44 stitches I have 22 half double crochet and then 22 slip stitch just repeating row 2 okay yeah like I said we're gonna repeat row two over and over for me for size small I gonna keep repeating row two until I have 67 rows and if you want shorter you make less row and if you want longer you keep adding more rows just repeating row two okay and every row you gonna have the same amount of these stitches and please Count your stitches every row so you're not increased or decreased by accident. 
okay? I'm just gonna show you a couple more stitches. I'm pretty sure you know how to do this already, but I just wanna show anyway. So for row four, repeat row two, chain one and turn, and slip stitch into the first stitch, and then half double crochet into the next stitch. Slip stitch into the next stitch, half double crochet into the next stitch, like that. Okay, slip stitch into the next, half double crochet into the next. Slip stitch into the next, half double crochet into the next. Very, very easy pattern. Okay, yeah. I gonna keep repeating row two until I have 67 rows. And I will be back when I reach the end of row 67. Good luck, take your time and count your stitches and I will be back. Okay, now after I repeat row two until I have 67 rows. Here's what it looks like, really big. And this is the end of row 67. And next, you're just gonna cut the yarn. I already cut my yarn here. You don't need to leave a long tail for the back panel. Just leave a little bit of tail, just enough to weaving the end later. So after I cut the yarn here, I'm just gonna pull the yarn out like that. And I'm done with the back panel. Let me show you here. Pretty long. <laughs> Okay, all right, next we're gonna make the front panels. Okay, for the front panels, we're gonna make two exactly the same. And I already make one here because we make two exactly the same, okay? So we will start here, and it's the same pattern as the back panel, it's multiple of two plus one. And we're gonna crochet back and forth, really easy pattern. And then at this point, I'm gonna tell you exactly how many rows you should make. This is gonna be the open for the pocket, okay? And then after that, just repeat the same pattern. Just keep crochet. And then at the end, cut the yarn and leave a long tail enough to sew the shoulder here to the back panel. Very easy pattern, okay? Okay, I'm gonna start off with a slip knot. And then I'm gonna make 19 chains. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I will be back when I have 19 chains. Make sure to make your chain loosely. Okay, now I have 19 chains. Let me move this out here. Okay, so you can see it's better. <laughs> okay, for row one, gonna be the right side. For an odd number row, gonna be the right side. For an even number row, gonna be the wrong side. Okay, row one is the right side. We're gonna slip stitch into the second chain from the hook here. I always like to go into the little bump on the back of the chain. So, yeah, I skip the first chain, insert the hook into the next chain. I insert into the little bump on the back of the next chain here. And then pull up a loop and pull it through. This is the slip stitch. And then half double crochet into the next chain. I yarn over, insert the hook into the next chain. Again, I insert right into that little bump on the back of the next chain. And then pull up a loop. I have three loops on my hook. I yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook. It's the same pattern as the back panel. Okay? So yeah. Slip stitch into the next chain. I insert the hook into the next chain, right into the little bump on the back. And then pull up a loop and pull it through. And then half double crochet into the next. Yarn over, insert the hook into the next chain, pull up a loop, and make half double crochet. And then slip stitch into the next chain. And then half double crochet into the next chain. And then slip stitch into the next. And then half double crochet into the next. Okay, just keep repeating that. Again, if you wanna insert your hook into the normal chain, you can do that as well, whatever you prefer. Okay, 
Next, you're just gonna slip stitch into the next chain, half double crochet into the next chain, slip stitch into the next chain, half double crochet into the next chain. Repeat that until the end, and I will be back when I reach the end of row 1. Okay, I'm at the end of row 1 here, and I end up with the half double crochet. Okay, and I have a total of 18 stitches. I have nine half double crochet stitches and a nine slip stitch okay and then for row two you're gonna chain one and turn or you can turn first and chain doesn't matter and then the chain one never count at a stitch and after a chain one and turn i'm gonna make slip stitch into the first stitch insert the hook into the first stitch pull up a loop and pull it through and then half double crochet into the next yarn over insert the hook into the next stitch Pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook, and then just repeat that slip stitch into the next, and then half double crochet into the next. Slip stitch into the next, and then half double crochet into the next. Okay, just keep repeating uh, this pattern. Slip stitch into the next, and then half double crochet into the next, slip stitch into the next, and then half double crochet into the next. Okay, just keep repeating this. Next, you're gonna slip stitch into the next stitch, and then half double crochet into the next stitch, slip stitch into the next stitch, and then half double crochet into the next stitch. Repeat that until the end, and I will be back when I reach the end of row two. I'm at the end of row 2 here and I have the same 18 stitches. I have 9 half double crochet stitches and a 9 slip stitch. And I end up with half double crochet. And you always gonna end your row with the half double crochet stitch. And then always start with the slip stitch. Okay? Like I said, it's the same pattern as the back panel. It's very, very easy. Okay. For row 3 to row 21, I'm gonna repeat row 2. It's just one row repeat. And then for row 22, we're gonna make this open for the pocket. Okay? Let me show you one more row. So, like I said, we're just gonna repeat row 2. So, row 3, I chain 1 and turn and just repeat row 2 slip stitch into the first stitch and then half double crochet into the next stitch slip stitch into the next stitch half double crochet into the next just repeat that slip stitch into the next half double crochet into the next okay yeah so next you're just gonna slip stitch into the next stitch half double crochet into next stitch slip stitch into the next stitch half double crochet into the next stitch and I will be back when I reach the end of row 3 okay now I'm at the end of row 3 and I have the same 18 stitches I have 9 half double crochet stitches and a 9 slip stitch okay and yeah like I said we're just gonna repeat row 2 I gonna repeat row 2 until I have 21 rows and then at row 22 I will be back we are gonna make this open for the pocket here together I gonna keep repeating row 2 until I have 21 rows and then I will be back when I reach the end of row 21 good luck count your stitches and I will be back okay now I'm at the end of row 21 here yes what it looks like and then next Row 22, we're going to make this open for the pocket, okay? So, you need to chain one. This is going to be row 22, okay? I chain one and turn. And every size is, is different. So, this is for size small, okay? This is row 22, I chain one and turn. And then, we're going to make a slip stitch into the first stitch. And then, half double crochet into the next stitch. And then slip stitch into the next stitch. 
okay and then next I'm gonna chain 12 don't chain it too tight okay so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve after chain 12 I'm gonna skip 12 stitches so skip one skip two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve okay skip twelve stitches and then into the next stitch I gonna make half double crochet so I yarn over my hook I skip twelve insert the hook into the next stitch yarn over hook first okay and then <laughs> insert the hook into the next stitch pull up a loop three loops on my hook and then yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook the half double crochet and then next I gonna slip stitch into next stitch and then make half double crochet into the last stitch oops sorry okay okay here's what this look like on row 22 so I have three stitches here three stitches here and then 12 chain okay total of 18 stitches includes the chain okay I count the chain as a stitch so yeah three stitches here three stitches here and then 12 chain total of 18 stitches the same all right and then for row 23 I'm gonna chain one and turn just gonna repeat row two we're gonna treat the chain as a normal stitch okay so remember repeat row two we slip stitch into the first stitch and then half double crochet into the next stitch and then slip stitch into the next stitch and then half double crochet into the next stitch which is the chain and like I said we're gonna treat the chain as a normal stitch and I always like to go insert my hook into the little bump on the back of the chain again you can go into the normal chain whatever you prefer so yeah after I slip stitch here I'm gonna make half double crochet into the next chain I go into the little bump on the back of the chain here and make half double crochet and then slip stitch into the next chain I go into the little bump on the back of the next chain pull up a loop and make a slip stitch and then half double crochet into the next chain and then slip stitch into the next chain half double crochet into the next chain just repeating row two slip stitch into the next chain half double crochet into the next slip stitch into the next I'm just gonna show you the whole row <laughs> okay and then half double crochet into the next slip stitch into the next okay and then half double crochet into the next slip stitch into the next and then half double crochet into the next and then slip stitch into the next and then half double crochet into the last stitch the last stitch always gonna end up with the uh, half double crochet okay like that and this is the end of row 23 and I have the same 18 stitches I have 9 half double crochet and then 9 slip stitch 
I want you to count your stitches. Make sure that you not increase or decrease by accident. And it's very easy to get lost around the chain area that we uh, make for the open for the pocket. Yeah, I don't want you to <laughs> increase or decrease by accident. Okay. And then this is the end of row 23. Okay. So for row 24 to row uh, 67, I can now repeat row 2. Always can now repeat row 2. Again, this is the same pattern as the back panel. I can show you one more row. So row 24, we chain 1 and turn. Or you can turn first and chain doesn't matter. And then just repeating row 2. Make slip stitch into the first stitch. Half double crochet into the next stitch. Repeat that. Slip stitch into the next. Half double crochet into the next. Slip stitch into the next. Half double crochet into the next. Like that, okay? So next, you can add slip stitch into next stitch. Half double crochet into next stitch. Slip stitch into next stitch. Half double crochet into the next stitch. Repeat that until the end. And I will meet you guys one more time when I reach the end of row 24. Okay, I'm at the end of row 24 here. I have the same 18 stitches. I have half, sorry, I have nine half double crochet and then nine slip stitch. From now on, just repeating row two. Okay, and yeah, I gonna keep repeating row two until I have 67 rows. And every row, I'm going to have the same amount of these stitches, which is 18 stitches. Okay? And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and repeat in row 2. And I will be back when I reach the end of row 67. Good luck. Take your time. Call your stitches. And I will be back. Okay, after I repeat row 2 until I have 67 rows. Here's what it looks like. It's pretty long. Okay, and then next, I just gonna cut the yarn. I gonna leave about 18 inches long tail, enough to sew this uh, front panel into the back panel. So yeah, around 16, 18 inches. Cut it, and then after I cut the yarn, I gonna pull the yarn out like that. And I'm done with my front panels. And you need two of these exactly the same, okay? Leave a long tail exactly the same. And after you have two of the uh, front panels, next we're gonna make the sleeve. Okay, for the sleeve, we're gonna make two exactly the same. I already make one here because we make two exactly the same, okay? So here I start at the bottom here. And then it will all my way up. It's the same pattern as the back panel. Okay, and then at the end, I leave a long tail for sewing the sleeve into the back and the front panel. Okay, and I will tell you exactly how many rows you can do that. Okay. All right, I'm gonna start off with a slip knot. And then I'm gonna make 33 chains. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, keep making the change and I will be back when I have 33 chains. Make sure to make your chain loosely. Okay, now I have 33 chains. And then for row one, gonna be the right side. For an odd number row, gonna be the right side. For an even number row, gonna be the wrong side. So row one is the right side. I'm gonna slip stitch into the second chain from the hook. Okay, it's the same pattern as the back and the front panel. Okay, so here is the second chain from the hook. Again, I go into the little bump on the back of the chain. Right here. This is the second chain from the hook. I insert the hook there. Pull up a loop and pull it through. That is the slip stitch. And then half double crochet into the next chain. So I yarn over my hook, insert the hook into the next chain. I'm gonna go into the little bump on the back of the next chain. 
pull up a loop and make half double crochet and then slip stitch into the next chain I go right into that little bump on the back of the next chain and then pull up a loop and pull it through and then half double crochet into the next chain and then slip stitch into the next chain and then half double crochet into the next chain like that okay so I gonna keep making slip stitch into the next chain half double crochet into the next chain slip stitch into the next chain half double crochet into the next chain I gonna repeat that until the end of row 1 and I will be back I'm at the end of row 1 and I have 32 stitches I have 16 half double crochet and then 16 slip stitch so total of 32 stitches and I end up with the half double crochet like always okay and then for row 2 we chain 1 and turn the chain 1 never count at a stitch and now uh, we're gonna make slip stitch into the first stitch here and then half double crochet into the next stitch and repeat that slip stitch into the next and then half double crochet into the next and repeat that slip stitch into the next half double crochet into the next like that okay slip stitch into the next half double crochet into the next okay you're just gonna keep repeating that Next, you're gonna slip stitch into the next, half double crochet into the next, slip stitch into the next, half double crochet into the next. Repeat that until the end and I will be back when I reach the end of row 2. I'm at the end of row 2 and I have the same 32 stitches. I have 16 half double crochet and then 16 slip stitch. Total of 32. And then uh, for row 3 to row 47, I can now repeat row 2. I'm 100% sure if you make the front and the back panel already, you know how to make the sleeve because it's the same pattern. It's just one row repeat, just repeating row 2. Okay, but I show you a couple more stitches. So row 3, like I said, we repeat row 2. We chain 1 and turn and slip stitch into the first stitch and then half double crochet into the next stitch slip stitch into the next and half double crochet into the next slip stitch into the next and half double crochet into the next you see we just repeat row 2 slip stitch into the next half double crochet into the next very easy pattern all right just keep repeating row 2 so yeah like I said row 3 to row 47 I can now repeat row 2 and if you want a shorter sleeve make less than 47 rows and if you want a longer sleeve feel free to add more rows more than 47 rows just repeat row 2 as long as you like okay and yeah I gonna keep repeating row 2 until I have 47 rows and then I will be back when I reach the end of row 47 and please make sure to count your stitches I don't want you to increase or decrease by accident okay alright take your time good luck and I will be back okay after I repeating row 2 until I have 47 rows here is what it look like it's pretty big this is the end of row 47 and next you're gonna cut the yarn I already cut my yarn here and leave a long tail so I leave a tail about uh, 40 inches long something like that enough to sew this uh, sleeve into the front and the back panel okay so yeah I cut the yarn here already and next I'm just gonna pull the yarn out and yeah we done I'm done with the sleeve and you need two of these exactly the same leave a long tail exactly the same and for the sleeve I'm not um, decrease or increase at all I just uh, it's the straight sleeve 
that's what I desire this pattern to be. Just gonna straight like this. Okay. Alright, and after you have two of this sleeve, and next we're gonna make the pocket, the inside pocket. Okay. Okay, for the pocket, you're gonna make two exactly the same. I already make one here. And uh, this is gonna be the inside of the pocket, okay? Let me show you. So this is the front panel, right? And this is where we left some space open for the pocket. And this is the inside pocket. After you make this, you're gonna leave a long tail enough to sew all around this pocket, right? And then to sew, you put inside like that. Inside the, uh, the front panel here. Make sure this go on top the uh, the hole for the pocket. And you're gonna sew that. And this is what it's gonna look like after you sew the pocket into the inside of the uh, front panel. Okay, and then here yeah, you have the pocket. That's why I call inside pocket. <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay, let's get started. So I'm gonna make a slip knot and then I'm gonna chain 15. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 12, 13, 14, and 15. And after you have 15, you're gonna make single crochet into the second chain from the hook. So I insert the hook into the second chain from the hook. And this time I'm not gonna go into the little bump on the back of the chain because it's just gonna be inside and we're gonna sew it anyway. So yeah, I'm just gonna go into the normal chain. So this is the second chain from the hook. I insert the hook there, pull up a loop. I have two loops on my hook. Yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook. That is my first single crochet on row one. Okay, and then single crochet into the next chain. Single crochet into the next chain. You see, I just insert into the normal chain. Like that. Just keep making one single crochet into each chain across. And it doesn't matter which side you choose to be the right side or wrong side. Like I said, this is going to be the inside of your sweater anyway so nobody see I'm at the end of row one here's what it look like and I have 14 single crochet stitches and then for row two you chain one and turn or you turn first and chain doesn't matter and then the chain one never count at a stitch and then we're just gonna make one single crochet into each stitch across so insert the hook into the first stitch pull up a loop and make single crochet and then single crochet into the next stitch single crochet into the next stitch single crochet into the next Just keep making one single crochet into each stitch. I'm at the end of row two. I have the same 14 single crochet stitches across. And then for row three to row 16, I just gonna repeat row two. It's very easy, just single crochet across. Okay, I show you a couple more stitches. So for row three, repeat row two, I chain one and turn. And one single crochet into each stitch across. Very easy. Okay. Alright, so yeah, just repeating row two. I'm just gonna make single crochet into each stitch across, and then at the end of row three, I have the same 14 single crochet stitches, and then start row four, just repeat row two. You chain one and turn, and then 
single crochet into each stitch across. Just single crochet back and forth like that. All right. And if you want a like a deeper pocket, you keep adding more rows. That's it. For me, I just gonna repeat row two until I have 16 rows and I will be back when I'm at the end of row 16. Okay, now I'm at the end of row 16 here and the next you're just gonna cut a yarn. So I cut the yarn and I leave a long tail about 40 inches, 30, 40 inches enough to sew all around this pocket. Okay, all around. Alright, so yeah, for me, I think uh, around 40 inches. I like to have extra yarn, better than not enough. Okay, after I cut the yarn, I'm just gonna pull the yarn out, like always, like that. And we're done with the pocket. So you need two of these, exactly the same. Leave a long tail, exactly the same. And after you have all the pieces, we're gonna sew all the pieces together and I will show you how to do that in the part two. Okay, I will see you in the part two.